Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we'll be taking down chapter 9 of year 3, part 2. We will be entering into the Fault of Fear. In last episode, Barnaby took a shot for us and has said that he's going to stand guard, keeping Marula and Ismelda out whilst we go in search of the next vault and hopefully uncover the next clue as to the whereabouts of our brother. Okay, well let's get into it. Okay, we're in the restricted section. Look at this place. You'd think students would need advanced defense against the dark arts training to enter it. I've been in here before, but never after dark. I don't know that I like it. Your brother's notes that the book will reveal the entrance to the curse vault. But how? I don't know, but we have to hurry. Split up and look through everything. Okay, so we've got a one star to pass, but three hour class. Yes. I wonder if Salazar Slytherin read any of these books. I could lose my prefect badge over this. All right, this five should be enough to finish it off. Done. Success. Why is there only one book missing? Hmm. Slot. That's going to happen. You did it, Shiny. I got rid of Marula and his Milder, but if I know them, they went straight to Snape. We better into the cursed vault. Let's do this. Okay, so we're straight into the cursed vault this time. Don't know what we have to do here. Did the other vault look like this? Yes, but no. Not nearly this terrifying. Something doesn't feel right. Be ready. Knox. Who said that? Voldemort! What? What's happening, guys? Oh, God. Oh, God. There's three Voldemort. There's three Voldemort. Avada Kedavra. <sighs> oh my god. What the? I know the boggarts, but it feels so real. I'm afraid. No, I won't let you take them. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Clown Voldemort. Bye bye. Next. Next one. Ridiculous. Another Clown Voldemort. <laughs> uh, bye bye. And one more left to go. Tough, my friend Tulip. Be gone, Voldemort. Ta da! Dun 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 dun. Thanks, Shiny. Don't thank me yet. It's not over. Jacob's research talks about facing your greatest fear. You beat the Boggarts, but maybe we should say our fears out loud. It might work. Voldemort. Marula. Losing my family. Oh, that's, that's heartbreaking. Oh. oh, if only you knew the future. <laughs> Clowns. Clowns. We just turned Voldemort into clowns. <laughs> He's already faced his fear. Okay. Clowns? I can't be the only one who thought those boggarts were more frightening after Shiny caught... <laughs> I love Barnaby. I can't be the only one who thought these boggarts were more frightening after Shiny cast Ridiculous. It's not working. Something is wrong. It's too late, Shiny.
Jacob, I don't understand. It's already inside you. You have to fight. Shiny, fight. Uh-oh. There's nothing worse to fear than death. Oh, we get to duel Voldemort. No ridiculous on this. Defeat Boggart Voldemort. He's wearing an invisibility cloak, so... Nice work, Gem City. Just a little heads up. It's not an invisibility cloak. Oh, I don't want to lose a match, right? I've, I've got an undefeated wizard record. We're all going against Bogart Voldemort, who has 19 attributes. 19, 17, 18. That means his attack is going to be really strong. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's do this right now. I'm going to take down Bogart Voldemort. We're going to go straight in with an attack. He's gone defensive. What moves does he know? Okay. Stamina, stamina drain. Okay, that's new. We don't have that move. Drain for five turns. Whoa, I'm losing five every turn. Yeah, take some of this Voldemort. Maybe just a bogger, but I'm gonna incendio. You, you like crazy. Incendio. Oh my god, look at his health. My god. His health is huge. This is going to take so much. We need to pull a defensive. Oh my god, we're going defensive against Sneaky. Oh my god, we're going to lose. He's going to do stamina drain on us again. Does it just reset to five turns or does that turn to eight turns? Draining for five turns. Oh, minus five. We have to get that defensive. Boom. Oh. So close. Fisky. Cast that on ourselves. Hopefully get a fair bit of health back. Plus 10. That's nice. High empathy bonus. We get plus 4. Do we go the attack? Attack. Okay, that's fine. We both get a bit of healing. We're losing health though. Yes, defensive. This is good. We need probably a small chance of healing over time. We'll get that with the Episky. Let's go a large heal over time. Try and get our health back up so we can pull off an attack. I mean, he hasn't done defensive for a while. Do we go attack or sneaky? Attack or sneaky? Oh yes, we've got healing two turns nice so we're not going to lose health i'm going to go aggressive yes the right choice aggressive versus sneaky i'm going to pull off incendio again go for that burn over time oop <laughs> oh, i still lets us do it i don't think it should let you i think you should fail to cast it personally incendio i'm going to do five and then take 10 off burns for two turns Okie doke. There's that minus 10 burn. I'm going to go. Oh, he's gone defensive. This could make it go on for longer. Oh, he's going. He's going full attack, though. He is pulling a move that is going to get him. Don't stun us. Don't stun us. We're not stunned, right? Oh. Do you know what? I never pull sneaky. Ah, I had a feeling sneaky would be the good thing to do, but it wasn't. It was not the right thing to do. Choke. Medium chance of stun. Oh, God. Oh, God. We have to go defensive. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to lose our first battle. Immobilis. Do we have any health left? No, we've lost. No! We lost our first battle. Oh, no, I'm good. I genuinely wanted to go on an undefeated run. <sighs> Let's go aggressive then. Let's 
so hurt by that. You watch, we'll just take him out easy now. This could be the win. Okay, so we could have taken Voldemort without losing any health here. I'm going to go to Pulso, try and get that minus 20, which hopefully should be enough. It might be just shy. That looks like it's enough. And that is Voldemort defeated. You won. And we don't get to see a uh, Hunchback or Not the Jam style Boggit Voldemort. And now we can finally cast Ridiculous to turn him into... Should we turn him into a clown? Because this isn't going to be helpful for Barnaby. -da 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 -da. Wait, could it literally... With Barnaby in the room, it could just keep flicking from Voldemort to, <laughs> to clown. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's such a good dancer. Ha, 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 ha. By the fifth clown, it wasn't that funny, Shiny. Shiny, are you okay? What happened? I don't know, you were frozen. Suspended in air like a puppet. Is everyone all right, though? We're fine. I don't know if the curse is broken or not, but we have to get out of this room. No, not yet. Not until we get what we came for. Open sesame. I don't understand. All I did was touch the last one and it opened. There's something written here. To open, a wizard must make the ultimate sacrifice. What does that mean? You have to kill a friend? You have to die to open the vault? No. I think it means... You have to be willing to give up magic. Jacob understood. What do you mean? I thought Jacob's wand was broken when he was expelled. But what if he broke it himself to open the vault? I've kept the broken pieces with me. Maybe if I touch them to the column... Yes! Jacob has helped us to enter the next vault. Unbelievable! It worked! What's inside? What is it? It's a map of the Forbidden Forest and an arrow. A broken arrow. We'll work it out somewhere else. If these fake you-know-whos don't get us again, Pince or Snape surely will. Let's go. That was cool. That was so cool. <laughs> Love the Cursed Vault. Great. Okay, and now to finish the chapter off, we need to turn mice into snuffbox. So what, how long is this class going to be? Hopefully it's just a three-hour one. Three-hour one, reward, five gems, five stars to pass. We hope... Hopefully we'll have enough energy and gems to get through this. Today I will show you one of the classic transfigurations. How to change a mouse into a snuff box. Classic. Allow me to demonstrate how to turn a mouse into a snuff box. Not that any of you need snuff boxes. I don't even know what a snuff box is. What's a snuff box? Somebody explain that to me. Okay. This is the most important part. So please pay extra close attention. Hound wand power. When working with live animals, your wand's power must be applied flawlessly on your feet, students. I feel like I'm, I'm slipping on my McGonagall accent. We might have to have a little bit of a listen to some McGonagall clips. To apply your wand flawlessly, you must have a total concentration. Have, have a total, <laughs> not have total, have a total. Brilliant, well done. Next, memorize your snuff box sheep. You must visualize the mouse and the snuff box both in your head. Try it now. Now try a picture of the snuff box in your mind. Okay, it's a bit shame like this, I think. Yeah, hmm. Hmm. 
prepare to soothe the mouse. You must form a trusting relationship with your mouse. Spend some time together at your desks. We have one more star after this left to get. There, there. Hey, it's okay. Prepare to cast mouse into a snuff box. Now it's your turn, class. Attempt to cast mouse into snuff box. Hmm, is this how I'm supposed to do it? So that's gonna be it. Oh no, we need one. Oh, we needed a two. Oh, we got three and a five. That sucks. Now cast mouse into snuff box. Okay, swoop de swoop. Yes, did it. All these transfigurations are completely useless. But success, that will take us into chapter 10 with chapter nine complete, the vault of fear is done. Chapter 10, among friends, your worst fear conquered. The curse broken, you are once again the triumphant vault breaker of Hogwarts. Yes. I'm going to get in so much trouble. Great. We've got two chapters left, so there's obviously going to be some uh, interactions with probably Dumbledore at the last one saying, Hey, I told you to stay away from the vaults. Uh, a lot of teachers telling us off. Who knows? We shall find out in the next episode. That is it for this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. I'll see you soon.